Good afternoon. YTPC, how's it going? My phone looks super clear right now. I don't know if that will make a difference on my videos or not, but uh, my screen sure looks clear. As you guys know, or some of you know, I just got a new phone and um, I just finally took the little plastic off. <laughs> I'm a little paranoid, guys. I, I crack screens. Huh? I need a case. I need to get a case for this guy. Case didn't help last time. But maybe because um, cell phones in cases even are not meant to be thrown off the roof of a moving vehicle. <laughs> My little basket. It was 20 bucks. And I think the guy gave it to me for 15. The guy loved me. I don't know why. He's the same guy that... And it was the same day. I bought my cigarette. My cigarette Scully. The Bonehead. As Violet calls him. The Bonehead. Earlier... I was like, where did I put my bonehead? And she said, Violet said, You call me a bonehead, Daddy? I'm a bonehead? <laughs> no, you're not a bonehead, baby. <laughs> uh, it was a rough morning again today, but everything's okay. Kind of. It's. <laughs> So, in my little basket, as a little tribute and thank you to the Pastor Piper, we've got some old Shenandoah Appalachian Berry, courtesy of my friend Onion. And I hadn't busted into this yet because I thought it was sealed. And uh, that's like a big occasion for me to open a tent. <laughs> but I opened it, it wasn't sealed. It was definitely a full tin, though, and I appreciate it very much. And uh, the only other Appala Appalachian berry I've had is uh, out of a baggie, just, <laughs> you know. An onion gave me that, too, actually, the first time I met him. But he brought this to the club for me a couple weeks ago. And I must say, there's quite a difference between what was in that baggie and what I just pulled out of this tin. I'm sure the baggie was from a tin, too, but I don't know how long it was in that bag. <clears throat> a little bit dry. This, first of all, the tin note was exquisite. <laughs> and I didn't know there was Appalachian Harvest also, which uh, the pastor made sound very nice. Mrs. Pastor, Valley Girl, didn't like it in her <laughs> so much. <clears throat> Good videos. Good videos over there on Pastor Piper's channel. Guy's got some charisma, huh? Anyway, we'll talk about him more very soon. In the meanwhile... Very creamy. Mm. What is that? It tastes something very familiar, but I'm not sure I could quite put a bead on it. And there's supposed to be brandy in this, I think. I don't really taste any liquor. Something a little bready, though. Cakey. Very smooth. Very smooth. Mmm. 
Yummy. <laughs> so, yeah, just hanging out today. I've been making a lot of new friends. In the YTPC. And uh, people are being very kind to me. You know, a few people know I'm having kind of a rough, challenging, conflicting time right now. <laughs> and uh, people have been pretty cool, pretty supportive. It's crazy because these days I don't really have anyone to talk to, you know. I left all my friends to come out here. <laughs> You know, quite a long time ago now, so we're pretty disconnected. You know, my family is 80, 90 miles away. And they're stark raving mad, so. <laughs> and yeah, I could talk to uh, my wife about a lot of things, but <laughs> certain things I can't. And uh, so I try not to vent at you guys about it. It's, I think I said this before. That's not what this channel's for. It's for having fun. And uh, hanging out with you guys. And, uh, <clears throat> you guys are so nice. And uh, <laughs> I uh, receive that niceness in many ways. And uh, you guys don't have to be my therapist too. If I put up any more therapy videos... I will put it in the title so you can skip it if you don't want to watch it, okay? All right. So, <clears throat> very excited for Jordan's Ga. Uh, I got to win one of them someday, right? How magnificent is that prep station? Spectacular. <laughs> Speaking of which, I found this in a, the junk store down the street a couple weeks ago, and we were using it in the kitchen to put our cooking spoon on and stuff. But we got this little Bugs Bunny, this ceramic Bugs Bunny. You know, you put it on your stove for your spaghetti sauce spoon or whatever. There's a buck. Well, while cleaning up around here I found a little adhesive stick hook I got it right down here on my table and this hooks right on it my tobacco breaker upper one of them I've got a few now which reminds me I told Mike at Briar Blues I would take a picture of my mouse pad that he sent me There, now I can screenshot that <laughs> and post that. He's uh, He's got a little swag going. He's making t-shirts, sweatshirts, coffee mugs, stuff like that. <laughs> and I don't think the mouse pad's available anymore, but uh, he's the first guy to actually send me anything, <clears throat> which was that mouse pad, and that was real cool of him. And uh, that was, I left him one comment and said, wow, that's a cool mouse pad. And he sent it to me. <laughs> awesome. Real cool guy, Mike. Real classy guy. Real classy guy. I appreciate that. Um, so, I think I need a relight. Huh. <laughs> Just touching base with you guys. I got a lot of videos to catch up on today. Hopefully I'm able to. And uh, I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful day. And uh, I have some interesting videos that I would like to make soon. So stay tuned.